my name is Gillian Plott, and I am the Director of Marketing for NVPHE. And I have as one of my tasks the production of our quarterly newsletter. And if you're familiar, it is jam packed with lots of great things. So we thought that we would discuss five of our favorites this quarter. And here to do that is the NBH MBPHE team, starting with Allison. You want to introduce yourself? Sure, absolutely. Hi, I'm Allison Foster. I'm the MBPHE president. Hi, I'm Chantal Johnson, the director of certifications. Hi, everyone. My name is Ashley Mueller, and I'm the manager of educational programs. And bringing up the rear, I'm Melissa Boyette, the new director of partnerships. Great. Uh, so the five things we're going to focus on first, we're going to look at our annual meeting. This is something that's brand new to us. And why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're looking forward to, Allison? I'd be happy to. So next year is the 20th anniversary of the MVPG. So we thought we would start off the year with a virtual annual meeting. So we'll be meeting at 1 p.m. East Coast time on February 5th. Uh, hope you'll join us. You get the opportunity to meet with um, our board members. Um, we'll be talking about some of our new initiatives, um, where we're going to be going in the future. Um, we'll have CPH ambassadors talking about how they can share more about CPH and other certifications. Um, and more importantly, you get the opportunity to tell us where you think we should be going, share ideas, and ask questions. So you can RSVP from our website or from our newsletter. We hope to see you there. That's awesome. And then stay with us, Allison, because we wanted to talk a little bit about our new board members. Sure. So um, the MVPG Board of Directors um, has recently brought on two new, or three new board members that we want to introduce to you. Um, our board as a whole represents individuals from many different areas of public health, um, different roles, different settings. Um, and it's important that our board represents the public health community. So our three new board members are um, Joe Cantor, who's the new CEO of ASTO. He was most recently the state health officer in Louisiana. Um, Charlene Cario, who's a community health manager um, at Southwest District Health in uh, Idaho, and she's been and is very active with APHA. And then Matt Richardson, who's the director for public health of Denton County, Texas. Um, he's actually worked with us for a while. He's been active um, with some of our job task analysis processes. So we're really excited to have them on board and the things that they're going to bring to uh, the MBPG. Yeah, it's really great when we get to work with the board. They're such smart, wonderful people. Um, actually, in our newsletter, we have a lot of great stuff that uh, is part of our education program, but one of the most popular is certainly our review sessions, and we have a new series coming up, don't we, Ashley? Yes, we do. Um, so starting <laughs> on January 9th, um, we have an 11 session. It's about six weeks long uh, review session for anyone who's studying to take the CPH, or if you've already taken the CPH and you want to brush up on one of the domains, you're welcome to join us too. So the sessions are um, go over each of the domains. Uh, each session is two hours long. We'll go through um, review materials. We'll go through practice items. And then what's really great is you can interact and ask questions with our presenters and your fellow um, attendees. So we hope that you will sign up. Uh, you can register on our website on the study resources page. I'll, uh, Ashley, how much does this cost people? It is free. So <laughs> anyone who would like to attend can attend and you can sign up for the whole session or um, you sign up for the whole session and you can attend just one of the sessions. We do also record the sessions, so you can watch them on demand if you miss any of them. And I will say you should definitely sign up for the review sessions because we do share um, extra information and like helpful resources. So definitely sign up if you're interested. Yeah, absolutely. And what's up? Oh, next we've got uh, Melissa, our newest employee. Hi, Melissa. Welcome to the team. Hi. Yeah. Thank you, Gillian. Um, my name is Melissa Boyette, and I am the new director of partnerships. I'm very excited about this new role. I am totally new to the credentialing world, but really not new to the public health landscape. So I'm very excited to bring my 
years of experience doing disease intervention around HIV, STIs, and whatever other infectious diseases that we sort of get roped into, um, to our new uh, Certified in Disease Intervention credential that we're launching. We are funded through our partners ASPPH with funds from the CDC to launch this new credential specifically for disease intervention professionals. So our DIS, TB folks, linkage to care folks, um, people working one-on-one -on -one with, with clients in the community. And I'm just really overjoyed to be here and to help make that new credential a success. Yeah, we're really, really excited to have you on the team. So much good experience. And you did hear um, a mention of JTA earlier. Uh, that brings us to our next thing we'd like to highlight, which is public health nursing and what is called a job task analysis. Um, Chantal, why don't you share with us a bit about this? Oh, yes, definitely, Gillian. So we are so excited to be able to launch um, what we are doing. We're exploring the development of public health nursing certification program. And as part of that development process, we have to go through a job task analysis. So really a job task analysis works like a survey. It's a survey instrument that's developed by SMEs, so subject matter experts. Um, they identify the day-to-day -day tasks that individuals in a specific role perform. Um, as part of the survey, those who participate will have the opportunity to rank uh, the importance of each of those tasks and then the frequency. Uh, part of the survey also includes a demographic questionnaire. Uh, we have a wonderful group of SMEs, subject matter experts, who will be participating in the JTA committee meeting December 5th through the 6th in Arlington, Virginia. Mm -hmm. um, and again, we're really excited to have our committee members on board working in what is the beginning stages of what would possibly be a new certification program for public health nurses. So we're so excited to offer that. Yeah, um, our mission is definitely to certify public health and it's lovely to see that we're expanding beyond our CPH, which is our core into the CDI, which Melissa mentioned and this for nursing. So those are our five big things. You'll see this newsletter has a lot more to offer. Um, additional um, webinars, uh, statuses, our book club, and many more things. And if you would like to get a copy of the newsletter, you can sign up at nbphe.org newsletter. And that's it for our newsletter this time. Thanks for joining us.